audio jungle Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. In today's video, let's create a very simple cinematic title animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So let's take a new project and get started. And now click on this new project and let's call it title and click on create. And click on this setting button and let's do some basic settings so set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and I am going with 30 frame per second and set this playback frame rate 30 and click on save and now let's create this animation inside of this fusion tab so we have to take a new fusion composition so go to media pool right click on that click on new fusion composition and let's call it fusion comp and duration make it 5 second long frame rate 30 and click on create and now let's import this fusion comp on this timeline and then click on this fusion tab and here we get media out so just drag this media out to the side for now and let's take a text node so click on this text button and drag this text to the viewer and let's type a text whatever you want to type so I'm typing animation and in this case i'm using this century gothic font style and of course you can select any different font style that you want and now set it to regular and set the size of this text something around 0.1 and hit enter all right and now hit control and scroll up to zoom in and set it like that and then go to your setting tab and change this type solid to gradient and pick this point and pick a nice gray color like that and pick this point and set it over here maybe all right so it's looking nice and now let's create a duplicate of this text so select this text hit ctrl c to copy and paste a instance copy of this text one so right click and paste a instance copy and now let's merge these both outputs so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this instance text one and use this instance as a background and connect this green foreground point with this text one and use this text one as a foreground and drag this merge one to the viewer and now right click on this flow window go to arrange tool and check this option to grid and let's arrange these node like that all right and now select this instance text one and go to this inspector window and let me tell you guys all the settings are totally dependent on this text one because both are interconnected with each other so select this instance and right click on this tracking and click on d instance and make it independent and select this instance and go to very beginning of this animation and set this tracking value something around 0 0.995 and hit enter and now let's animate this tracking so select this instance right click on this tracking click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and select this text one go to text right click on tracking click on animate and then go to the end of this animation and set this tracking value something around 1.4 and hit enter and now select this instance text one and set this value something around 1.395 and hit enter so as you can see it's looking something like this now select this instance and go to this setting tab and right click on setting and click on d instance and make this setting gradient independent and pick this point and pick a nice dark color and pick this point and make it like that and add a point in the center of this shading gradient and pick this color white and set this point over here maybe basically create a fake 3d text effect and as you can see it's looking like a 3d text and now let's play this animation so as you can see we have a very basic animation so let's make some more interesting animation so go to a spline window hit f4 to full screen and check this text one click on fit button select these keyframes hit s on the keyboard 
to a smooth or you can also click on this smooth button and set the CTI on frame number 0 and hold this handle and create a nice smooth curve like that and set the CTI on frame number 30 which is equal to 1 second according to 30 fps and set this handle over here all right and now uncheck this text one and check this instance text one and click on this fit button and do the same thing for this so select this keyframe hit s on the keyboard set this cti on frame number zero hold this handle and create a curve like that and go to on frame number 30 and hold this handle and set it like that all right and now it's done so hit f4 to exit and close this spline window and let's play this again so as you can see we have a smooth animation all right now let's import a video clip that i am going to use as a background so go to edit tab and right click on this media pool click on import media and select this file that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and i will provide a link in the description for this so download this and click on open and drag this file on this timeline and let's remove this audio first so hit backspace to delete this audio only and now let's make this clip five second long so right click on that click on change clip speed and as you can see this is 14 second long video clip so let's increase the speed of this and make it five second long so set this speed value 260 percent and check this option stretch to fit and i also want to reverse this animation so check this option reverse speed and click on change and then right click on this and let's convert it into a compound clip so click on this new compound clip and let's call it clip and click on create and now let's remove this from the timeline all right and then go to fusion tab again and open this media pool and drag this clip on this timeline and close this media pool and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it clip hit enter and drag this clip to the viewer and select this video clip and add a transform node after this clip so select this and click on this transform button to add a transform node and drag this transform to the viewer and now click on fit and let's increase the size of this so select this transform and set the size something around 2 and hit enter and now let's add a color corrector node after this transform so select this and add a color corrector node drag this color corrector to the viewer and let's pick a nice color so i'm going to set this color blue maybe so set this tint value something around negative 0.38 and hit enter all right so we have something like that and now let's merge these both outputs so list it over here and let's take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this color corrector and use this output as a background and connect this green foreground point with this merge one and drag this merge two to the viewer all right so as you can see we have something like that and now let's import a lens flare file so go to media pool and right click on that click on import media and select this flare that i have also provided a link in the description so go to the link and download this flare and click on open and drag this flare on this flow window and select this media in hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it flare and hit ok and now let's attach this flare with this so take a merge node and hold shift on the keyboard and let's attach this merge like this and connect this green point with this flare all right and now select this merge 3 and go to this inspector window and change this apply mode normal to a screen and close this media pool and let's increase the size of this hold control and scroll up to zoom in and now set this lens flare on this character o so just select this flare and add a transform after this flare so select this flare and click on this transform button and 
Select this transform and go to this inspector window and click on this option flip horizontally and set this flare on this character and go to the end of this animation and set this flare and now let's animate the position of this flare so right click on this center click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on this center parameter and then go to very beginning of this animation and hold control and scroll up and set this flare over here maybe and click on fit button and go to spline window hit f4 to full screen and check this transform 2 only so uncheck this instance text 1 and click on fit button and select these keyframes hit s on the keyboard to smooth and hold this handle and set it like that and set the cti on frame number 30 hold this handle and set it like that all right and now hit f4 to exit and close this spline window and it's looking something like that all right now let's add a transform node after this merge 3 so take a transform node hold shift on the keyboard and attach this transform over here something like that and now select this transform and go to on frame number 30 which is equal to one second according to 30 fps and right click on size click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on size property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this size value something around 1.25 and hit enter so now let's smooth this animation so go to a spline window hit f4 to full screen and uncheck this transform 2 and check this transform 3 only and click on fit button select these keyframes hit s on the keyboard to smooth and set the cti over here and hold this handle and set it like that hit f4 again to exit and close this spline window and now select this merge 2 and go to on frame number 15 which is equal to half a second and right click on this blend click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and set this blend to zero and now we have something like that all right and now let's add a color corrector node after this merge 2 for final color adjustment so take a color corrector node and let's attach the output of this merge 2 with this color corrector 2 and drag this color corrector to the viewer and select this color corrector 2 and set the color maybe blue color and set this value negative 0.4 and hit enter and set this strength value 0.4 and hit enter so it's looking something like this now let's down the saturation value so set this saturation 0.8 maybe and set this contrast something around 1.05 and hit enter and it's looking nice and finally let's connect this media out with the output of this color corrector so connect this color corrector to with this media out and then go to your edit tab and as you can see our text animation is ready for a render so go to very beginning of this animation click on this loop button and let's increase the size of this preview window and let's play this animation And as you can see, it's looking nice. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like it. If you like it, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when I will upload my new video. And I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.